Just one in ten Kenyans seek justice in a government court, according to a survey by the country's judiciary. Kenyans say their inability to get justice in court is because they cannot afford legal fees for a lawyer, don't understand the legal process and procedures, and face delays in resolving cases. Naftali Obuoni's family encountered similar difficulties when his father was unexpectedly terminated from his job. The IT practitioner developed an artificial intelligence tool called Wakili, meaning lawyer, which is designed to help Kenyans pursue justice by providing information on legal matters and guiding them on how to access the legal system. Wakili.org is basically a bot. It's a chat bot. This is where you can go if you have any issues. It might even not be directly law related, but it might be related to things that you face in society. And you want to know what is your course of action and you need guidance. Uh, it understands all laws in Kenya, all laws in Kenya. Meaning whether it's customary, whether it is civil, criminal, whether it is property, land, all those laws, it already understands them. And it doesn't list you the laws, it interprets for you. Launched just a week ago, more than 2,800 people have engaged with the Wakili AI tool, seeking guidance on property ownership procedures, gender-based violence case inquiries, and contract drafting for employers. James Mwindi, a software developer, is one of many users benefiting from Wakili. He is using AI tool to draft client agreements, which is more cost-effective than hiring legal services. This has kind of helped us now formalize all our agreements with our clients so that now before we begin any software development project for a client, we're able to have a draft contract, a draft non-disclosure agreement agreed, and they feel at ease as a client because they know now the process is formal. And on our end, it has also now reduced the costs. Some lawyers have voiced concern that incorporating AI into the profession much like in other fields, may lead to a decrease in their income and a reduction in the number of people seeking their services. But others are embracing the technology as it makes their work easier. Research consumes most of lawyers' time because research is based on what cases you're handling and what particular area of the law. This narrows it down. Once you ask that question, it narrows it down. You don't have to start to start broadway and then narrow down. It narrows it down for you. The developers aim to incorporate a voice recognition system into the program to make it accessible to millions of Kenyans. The additional system will enable those who don't know English or Swahili to seek legal information in their native languages. Mohamed Yusuf for VA News, Nairobi.